Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com and every time I turn on YouTube an advert asking me to download YouTube music get the app and I have to click, keep clicking no thanks it's a very intrusive advert anyway it's probably enough of that um, I can't remember what I said so far so yeah I'm Jason Newland this is let me bore you to sleep it is 7.54 in the evening I'm recording this on a Wednesday the I think it's the 28th of February 2019 please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and please only watch if you're watching a video on YouTube please only watch when you can safely close your eyes as well and please subscribe and the reason that I'm actually come on to Facebook is oh that's weird on YouTube rather is because I wanted to I've had a few comments and I wanted to thank you for the comments so let me okay so I had a comment today from Kenny Ramos saying uh, came here from Spotify because your voice has been my hypnotic tranquilizer for months as I've been struggling with major insomnia. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, Kenny. And I really appreciate you taking the time to you know, leave a comment. And I'm really pleased that you gain some benefit from me waffling on so thank you uh, I had a message from Claire Fletcher again on YouTube uh, these are on the let me bore you to sleep uh, love this series it's really helped me please keep them coming uh, so I said I think I replied yeah thanks Claire another hundred on its way because that was on the hundred number hundred and one which was the last one um, I had a message from ASMR with Sophia. Uh, so that's the name of the channel, ASMR with Sophia. Uh, she commented on number 56, Deep Sleep Whisper. Your voice is so soothing. So thank you. Uh, I had some new subscribers, Amanda C. So Amanda, thank you for subscribing. And uh, I'm reading it backwards. I'm reading, not reading it backwards. That would be backwards. This, this is, I'm reading it. I'm not going to go all the way through to the, the most, like the longest, furthest away message. So Ken Gibson said on number 99, let me bore you to sleep. A long 13 year way laugh out loud so I'm not sure that's referring to something that I must have said during the session I honestly don't remember most of what I ever say I'll be honest with you I don't my only aim well not my only aim but I do try to I don't know, just you know I, I try and just be keep it clean you know Generally, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the sessions. Um, I don't know. Just I just say whatever I feel like saying, really, um, with the hope that it'll be useful. Um, Ken Gibson, I like this one, Jason. Very pleasant anecdotes. That was number ninety nine. So I don't know what I spoke about, but I'm glad that you liked liked the content. Uh, okay, so I got a message from Riley Smith. 
that was on number 100. Let me bore you to sleep. Yo, Jason, happy 100 episodes. Uh, smiley face. Uh, thanks for being my bedtime narrator in life. Haha, ha, you always put me right to sleep. I'm from the States, so I think your accent is quite nice to fall asleep. And there's, there's more to it, but I'd have to click on it and go to the video to read that bit. So I replied, hi Riley, thank you, I'm happy to be your bedtime buddy, I hope I can bore you for another 100 sessions. So that's that was three days ago. I got a new subscriber, Lolo. Do you remember Lolo Ferrari? Is it Ferrara? Ferrari? Uh, so, um, okay. Okay, so I got a message from this is the 18th of February. This is from Zen Zaplak, uh, and it's number 51 Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Uh, these are all YouTube videos that I've been had comments on. So, this one is I just want to thank you for making these videos and podcasts. I've been listening to your Spotify podcast for a year already. It helped me so much, especially when my mind is overthinking at night. There's more, but I, you know, I can't see it without going to the video. Um, I got a message from Soren, Sorenable, Sorenable, commented, "Thanks for thinking of me, Jason. Cheers, mate." So I must have mentioned him. Uh, Shannon Daisy commented on, on number 97 your content is great I found you through searching for podcasts on Spotify and came across your audio recordings these past few nights they've helped me relax feel less stressful and less anxiety well thank you Shannon for that and uh that's weird. I would have replied to that, but it's not saying that I have. I hope I did. Um, okay, Linda Marvel commented on Let Me Bore You to Sleep number 94. She says, LOL, this one is great. Thanks for the laughs. Okay, I think I must have been talking about my childhood. I don't know. Talk about my relationships. Uh, Number 46, Deep Sleep Whisper, ASMR Auntie. So ASMR Auntie, that's the the uh, YouTube channel. So she does ASMR videos. Um, sleep hypnosis videos are my favourite. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. And again, I would have replied to that, but there's not showing the replies on here for some reason. Uh, I don't ignore messages. Um, Claire Fletcher posted a comment on number 93 let me bore you to sleep I love your videos I found you when I was struggling with insomnia nine months ago and I found a, a stay awake challenge adamant I'd make it through the whole thing to see what it was about Nine months, see, there's more, but it's, I can't read it. Because I'd have to go to the video to read the thing. Ooh. So that was from Claire Fletcher, 93, let me bore you to sleep. Not saying that she's 93. She might be 93. Ken Gibson commented, that ferret really is your son, Jason. He much love you very much. He is, and he does. Well, I hope he does. That was on, I don't know what video it is, I can't read it. The picture's too small. Uh, and also Ken Gibson commented, oh Jason, you can pat yourself on the head, hugs from me. Out of context, that might sound a bit weird, someone saying that I can pat myself on the head. But I think it must have been referring to something that I said on on the video um, 
Soren says on number 92, let me pull you to sleep. I love the trout fart at the end and close your eyes, safe to do so. Thank you. And Ken Gibson replied on number 35, Deep Sleep Whisper. I'd like to provide a soundtrack to your relax with background sounds. Could be fun. Yeah, that would be. It's, uh, I haven't done a relax with background sounds one for quite a while. So it could be time to do a new one. ASMR Auntie commented, the ASMR hypnosis videos are my favourite. Thank you. Didn't she already comment that? She said the sleep hypnosis videos are her favourite. Ah. I wonder which ones really are her favourite. Uh, for number 89, let me bore you to sleep. Let's learn, commented, I get bored. And there's a couple of little snoozy faces there. And so, Ken Gibson on the 3rd of February, he wrote a comment on Deep Sleep Whisper 35. I think your free service is a gift to the world. You're a very, very, very special man, Jason. Would love to meet you one day. Don't know if that's how he talks, but that's... Uh, and he left another message on number 35. Love your whisper sessions, Jason. They are the most relaxing material on the entire www internet thing. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's a... To be the most relaxing on the entire internet... Well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Now, on number 83, let me boy to sleep. Lisa C commented, Thank you for a good night's sleep. And so that's lovely. Thank you. And on number 82, Lisa C also commented, Thank you. So that's good. Uh, I've got a... I'm coming to the end of these now. <laughs> it only stores a certain amount. Ella Bregano started uh, subscribing to me. And Organo Roblox commented, boo. Or Organo Roblox. So I've no idea what that is. Or Organo, O-G-A-N-O, Roblox, R-O-B-L-O-X. Uh, anyway. Um, I only know one person that's ever said boo in a text ever but I don't know if it's that person I don't know Sorinable commented on number 86 let me bore you to sleep I listen to the best of meditations on YouTube but saying that the simplest video, like this videos, can be just as effective. Thanks again, Jason, for the shout out, The Last Day. So yeah, that was, uh, that was Sorinable. That was on the 29th of January. Um, Oh, that's all the comments I got. Oh. Oh, I wanted to see more. Oh, come on. Show show Daddy more. Oh. Yeah, so that's it. I wonder if I can get any other comments from anywhere else. I could open... I don't have Twitter. If I open up Twitter... I've had the occasional nice thing said to me on Twitter. Occasional. Go on then, Twitter. 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 Sounds like I'm trying to train a puppy. 
Oh, I can't even bother to log in. That's a problem you've got lots of different things you log in with. I don't want to have to keep doing it with different things. Facebook. Facebook. I hope that I'm already logged in on Facebook on here. I hope so. Yes, I am. I wonder if I've got any nice things. Um, 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 um. You know, years ago, I'm talking back in probably 1999, I, I pulled together, I pulled off I didn't pull anything off. I, I pulled, I basically I went through all the different uh, YouTube, Facebook, website, all kinds of everything where people had uh, sent me nice messages, or nice comments, uh, telling me how what I'd done has helped them. And also I used to have a testimonial link on my website where people could just click and leave a, a link and yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, really, wasn't it? So I um, put it all together and made it into a PDF file. And there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fake reviews that I'd made up. No, there wasn't. It was hundreds of you know, comments and nice things. Some of them was just like a sentence, you know. Some of it was a, a paragraph. But now, apart from the ones that are, are mixed in with, you know, the, on the YouTube channel, now that I've got the ones that have been posted on Facebook, a uh, few on Twitter, uh, I haven't got hardly any. It's it's a bit of a shame, really. It's uh, I wonder if I go to my actual page, whether there's anything on there. You know, if you get those days where you just want to hear nice stuff about yourself. Well, that's where I am right now. Again, trying the thing is trying to put me through to Google Assistant and stuff like that. So inbox, okay. I say look some of the things that people have said on here. I don't know where all of them are, but I'll try and save them when I can. Okay, so I got a message from a lady called Linda. This was fifth of January. Okay, she says, thank you, Jason. Found you on Stitcher. Makes me laugh and relax. Love you to bits. Oh, thank you. And uh, that was it, really. Uh, but it's still nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, I got one from Gemma. Gemma Alice. This was the 10th of January. 2019. Uh, so about if you put Jason Newland hypnotist into Facebook, you'll find my page. Uh, so hi Jason, I just felt I just felt necessary to message you and let you know that your "Let Me Bore You to Sleep" podcast on Spotify are a godsend. About 18 months ago, I had great difficulty falling asleep, would lay in the dark, tossing and turn in for two to three plus una you know, hours unable to sleep. I think we've all been there. It's, it's horrible, isn't it? Um, and she says, about nine months ago, I found your podcast and they did the trick from the very, very, very first night. 
she actually said from the first night but I thought I'd, if I added a few verries now I simply can't sleep without hearing your voice I think I'd have gone crazy without you so thank you so much for what you do you drastically changed my life thanks again Gemma P.S. I love Andre too see and if you're listening to this Gemma Alice thank you again for that I don't think my responses really give a good uh, I don't think my responses show how much I actually appreciate these messages that I get uh, so this, the, my response to this was dear Gemma don't really care how you feel no joking it says hi Gemma uh, thanks for your lovely message I'm happy to help it's always nice to get some feedback Andre sends his love but the fact is I absolutely love getting feedback like that because it means that my life is actually useful you know my life is worthwhile what I'm doing is has some kind of merit I don't know but yeah so I do really appreciate the messages that I get uh, so I've got another message here from someone called Pal P-A-E-U and that was on the 8th of January Hi I've been going to sleep to your voice for a few weeks now I was using let me bore you to sleep first until last night I discovered deep sleep whispers I just wanted to know if you can do okay so there's other stuff your whispering voice gives me all the tingles so it's uh, okay so that was that was a really nice message uh, what is this one this is from oh this is from an ex-girlfriend of mine oh, what does this say dear Jason you owe me 14 years of maintenance for our son oh I'll forget that uh, so next one Karen Karen oh that's just uh, more of a asking me for technical help regarding the website if any of you want to buy me a new a new chair please do be very happy to have a new chair this one is so squeaky so let's see what else have I got here this is from Erin just saying hi I found you on Spotify and this session you ask people to say hi but there's no comment option on Spotify so I came here thank you for boring me to sleep people are cornflakes that's probably referring to something that I spoke about in this session but as I said earlier I don't know what I've said oh this one's got a picture of Andre this one's from Nanette and uh, oh, let's have a little drink there then it says you put me to sleep good thank you well thank you and I put hi in the net thanks I'm happy to help and uh, she's replied I was laughing to my husband wondering how you came up on knowing that you could bore someone to sleep I love the accent so you could so you got me there but the talking it was just like wow had me yawning right away I was playing it in the morning and poop the suitcase I was listening to it my husband says I don't know what he was talking about so it turned it 
louder. And it was so funny, but I see what it's about letting <laughs> letting shit go. That's excellent. Bravo to you. Okay, that's cool. Um, I do seem to talk about poop quite a lot. I think poo is quite a good analogy for life in some ways because we need to poo. If you don't poo, we all, you know, it's bye-bye. You know, we have to do poos. If it builds up, we get ill, so we have to poo. And when you poo, you don't poo into your hand and then cradle it and then carry it around like a, like a little prized possession. It's, you flush it down a toilet and you let it go, don't you? So it's learning to do the same thing with anger and with resentment, with uh, past memories, you know, letting it go. Like you do with a poo, flush it down a toilet, let it go. Because I can honestly, you know, I've said this in the past, I did a poo probably it wasn't in that long ago really I don't we really don't really need to discuss my timetable of pooing but I can honestly say I don't think I'm gonna ever 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 gonna think of that poo again it's just not an important part of my life it's not something that I never ever really I don't even ever I don't think I'm ever gonna have to think about it I don't think anyone's going to ever ask me about it. By the way, Jason, you know the... Remember the 28th of uh, February, 2019? 22 years ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. No. Well, you did a poo. I was wondering if you could remember the poo you did. No. No. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that poo. Yeah. Yeah, it was so different from all the others. Yeah. That was the one year I was eating a banana at the same time. Uh, a new thing I trialled. I like to try new, different things. No. No. Um, anyway, so the next one's John Callahan. Shouldn't read out the name, should I? So John. Uh, okay, that's a different one. So April. April. Oh, there's a lot of messages here from April. Um, well, this goes back to 2017. May, so two years ago nearly. Jason, I've been listening to your podcast for almost a year now. I've struggled with ang acute anxiety, intense panic attacks, insomnia and PTSD for having gone through breast cancer at the very young age of 29. I'm now 34, in remission for almost six years now. Ever since I listened to your podcast, I've developed a more centered state of mindfulness and been able to more easily manage my stress levels at night when I usually experience the most difficulty in turning my mind off enabling me to put aside my stress factors and just focus on relaxing. And so yeah, so it's basically, she was just asking if I had any other stuff. I was wondering if you have any new material available on YouTube that isn't on the podcast. I'm very interested in and grateful for what you do and your methods for deep sleep and relaxation. It's the only thing that's helped me aside from therapy and medication. So this was in 2017. This is before I even started doing the Let Me Boy to Sleep recordings. And in fact, I don't think I'd even done the some of the others. So, I, you know, there's a lot of stuff I hadn't done at that point. Uh, she also put, I also enjoy the fact, because I did reply. Um... I didn't send a dick pic. I just replied to say, Hi April, thank you for your kind words. 
there are almost 600 videos on my YouTube channel, but the iTunes only lists the last 250, which is true. I will also be releasing a lot more new material very soon. Everything I do is uploaded to YouTube, then to SoundCloud, then it goes on to iTunes. They are also on my website, although I'm in the process of rebuilding the website at the moment, which is something that I'm constantly, constantly doing. Um, by the way, if my SoundCloud account, just go on SoundCloud and just look up my name, it's somewhere there. Uh, she also wrote on the 6th of the 5th, 2017. So it's a bit of backwards and forwards. That's not what she wrote, it's just what I'm saying. Uh, I also enjoy the fact that you often include much about yourself, your experiences with anxiety and insomnia, plus whatever else is going on in your life at the time in most of your sessions. It helps me to further put me at ease, reminding me that I'm far from being alone in the things going on in my own life that trigger my anxiety. Uh, how is your ferret, by the way? So he's very well, but I did reply to that. Uh, and she asked a couple of other questions, but that's not really relevant to what we're saying here. So, um, so I kind of is a bit of as so we talk. I talk to her. She talks back. At, you know, so it went on for a bit. But it's some really lovely comments there. And um, so that's. It's really lovely. So what's the next one? Emily Jane. She wrote, this was for the 19th of the 3rd, 2018. Just wanted to thank you for providing me with a better outlook. I've suffered with anxiety and panic attacks for a while and didn't want medication as I felt like I'd be dependent on them. I just wanted to thank you for teaching me how to control and believe in myself again. I've only done a full seven episodes and they've worked wonders. Thank you so much. So that was, I don't know what sessions she was referring to, um, to be honest, so I'm not sure. Right, I've got a message from myself. Hi, man. And I replied, hi. So I don't really know what that was about. Message from Alina. And there was just an upward uh, thumb. An upward thumb. I got a message from someone called Taddeo. And there was a picture of his right eye. Not really sure what that was about. Rudolph, I've got a message here. Uh, let's have a look, see what he says. Uh, this is from the 16th of the 10th, 2017. Hi, I subscribe to your channel. I enjoy your weekly sleep hypnosis number five very much. But you have disappeared from YouTube. Why have you cancelled your channel and your site? Hope everything is okay. Rudy from Dubai. Um, yeah, I had a bit of problems with face YouTube and stuff, but it did. I managed to sort that out now. Um, I, I replied to him and he says, Great, please don't forget Sleep Hypnosis Weekly number five. It's very effective and original. Well, thank you. Um, okay, so that's the rest of that one. So I'll move on to the next one. Hey. Anne, this next one's from Anne. Dear Jason, can you please stop reading out people's messages that they've sent you? It's private, and I don't think they really want them to be read out to the public. Um, you're very, very naughty of you. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that, it says, hi Jason. So glad you have a Facebook page to find you again. I love your work so much. Last night, I had it. No, I can't do a funny voice on this one. La <laughs> You'll see why when I read it. 
Uh, last night I had a terif- terrifying panic attack. Out of see, I couldn't do a funny voice, and I should read it before I do the voice. Otherwise, it makes it look like I'm mocking, and I'm not. So, uh, so last night I had a terrifying panic attack out of nowhere. Just as I was uh, settling in for bed, the techniques you've taught me helped so much and minimised the severity. Just at the tail end of it. When sanity started to return, I went to your channel and gasped to see it as deleted. I know you wouldn't have done it. Um, instead of adding gasoline to... Uh... Right, so she found me in other places. Cause I'm... I mean, at the moment, I'm very actively on lots of podcasts all over the internet. Uh, Spotify Stitcher you name it I'm everywhere iTunes Um, so yeah so I replied to her I've got another message here god this is much better than having to think of things to talk about Ariana sent me a message on 25th of the 7th 2012 you know what happened this is what happened. I deleted loads of messages by accident. I didn't even realise I deleted them. I thought I was just sort of putting down as read. Read it, I've read it, I've read it. And actually, they were being deleted. So I've got only a tiny proportion of the amount of... Uh, messages that people have left over the last 10 years or however long I've had this so Arania Ariana hi I've watched some of your videos I enjoy your stuff you are a wonderful person for sharing with us with the way people are today such takers no givers it's not true there's lots of givers there's lots of lovely people but I understand what you're saying I do much the same but in the area of deliverance huh. I'm not sure what that means uh, lately though you seem down please don't let the other users get you down there are a lot of mean people out there I think it's because I used to do these Jason chat videos and to be fair I kind of include that in these so I don't need to do them separate uh, it's when I used to talk about myself and which I still do, my favourite subject, that and chocolate. I was saying that, oh, I, I had a, oh, I'll read the rest of that in a minute. Last week, what day was it? Thursday, it was Thursday, last Thursday. I had to have a medical part of the mental health team because I'm on bipolar medication I have to have a medical physical rather physical medical you know where they take blood pressure and I have to get me man boobs out and they stick these things to my hairy chest and find it funny that it hurts and they do all these different yeah things blood you know take my blood and that and I get that every year. I have it every, one every single year. Part of the ongoing care, I suppose, because the the bipolar medication can have an effect on the organs. Any medication can have a an effect over time, and because because bipolar is an ongoing, like lifelong kind of thing. Uh, they're sort of keeping track of it and everything. Um, anyway, the I got a letter through today saying, Dear Mr. JJ, Dear Mr. Sexy JJ, uh, can you please make a, a... What do they... How do they word it? Anyway, can you please make an appointment to see your doctor as soon as possible? But, it's, but they put non-urgent in brackets probably I guess to not worry me you know 
so and it's to do with my blood test results so there's something going on with my blood um, maybe it's too wet too sticky too red who knows but uh, the last time I had this had exactly the same thing went to the doctors and they said my cholesterol is too high and I've had it a few times where my cholesterol has been too high and but I joined a gym yesterday last night maybe early hours of the morning I don't know sometime I joined a gym online it's a vir- it's a virtual g- it's a virtual gym can you imagine what a wonderful what a wonderful idea a virtual gym wouldn't that be beautiful be honest wouldn't that be terrific a virtual gym so you didn't actually have to go oh oh oh, it's making me all feel all giddy inside but no this is uh it was discounted for the first month no joining fee and it's open 24 hours a day and I can just go along whenever so my plan my plan is to go along at some point but I would have been in bed all day today not been able to do anything Uh, so yeah but I plan to so hopefully my blood um my cholesterol should go down with exercise because I'll be reduced I guess I'll be losing some weight losing some fat my body fat content will reduce all that stuff Um, if I go every day or every two days maybe go three times a week I don't know, twice a month. So you know, however often I go, um, that's what I'm planning to do. There's a few other reasons for it, but um, one of the things I wasn't hugely impressed with was the measurement. When the lady measured around my stomach, it was around the belly button area. It's like the the fullest part of the you know, and I think my belly may be bigger than my chest, which worries me. Is uh, my boobies need to be bigger than my belly? You know, I think that's kind of the general consensus with health, and so I'm gonna have to just wait and see. But I will, I'm I'm going to reduce it. And so there's a couple of things kind of spurred me on recently. And just in the last week, that was one of them. Standing in the room with the lady that was doing the testing and a young female who was just observing because she was a trainee. And... That just yeah didn't feel very comfortable at all to be honest you know um, yeah so I didn't enjoy it as much as perhaps I could have done uh, so Ariana says look you are human it's good to be reminded of that I've really come to enjoy the Jason Chats videos it speaks volumes of who you are as a person I understand I help people and never charge anything either. People have a tendency to want to take and suck all of your life force for nothing. Just saying this because, you know, I want to let you know that there are people out there that do care about others and helping them as well. Um, so I said thank you for your message. You know, maybe I was moaning, to be fair. Maybe I made a video when I was moaning, having a big old moan. Um, which is possible I do like a good moan oh oh moaning is one of my little fetishes I've got another message here this is from 
Oh. oh I can't believe it. I just logged out. Why? So I'm using a tablet and it's hard, they're hard work. Really are hard work. Inbox. Okay. I wonder how far back it goes. Wow. My oldest message that I can find here is from 2012. From Liz Berman, who is a friend that I had. She's passed away now, but she's really one of my biggest fans. So yeah, she used to she used to comment on pretty much every video that I did and everything. Uh, so I've got a message here from Amber. Uh, from 2nd of September 2012. Mr. Newland, I'm beginning the low calorie phrase of the HCG diet tomorrow, Monday, September the 3rd. I have listened, forward slash, watched, to many of your videos on YouTube. They are truly amazing, especially the Stay Awake Challenge. I've used that more than I can count to fall asleep at night. Never has it ever failed me. I'm wondering if I, if it would be possible to do a weight loss hypnosis video. Maybe something to help control my hunger while on the HCG diet. Any ideas? Thank you, Amber. And I put a message and because I had made, uh, I'd already made two videos in the past, but I think I made another one as well. And And another one, which is love your body with hypnosis, because you know what? There's there's something to be said with about. I don't know. Yeah, we health wise, of course, we need to be careful with our bodies, and if you weigh a lot, and if you know, like at the moment, I'm probably I'm not the fittest I've ever been physically fittest um, so there's still so there's going to be that risk to health and but it's also a case of I don't f you need to move away from that self-hatred and body shaming self body shaming that might be there as well because we need to be able to love our own bodies and if you can, and I remember I, one of my friends on Facebook posted something really horrible about herself, really kind of derogatory, like uh, how much she hated how she looked. So I did a session called "Stop Moaning About How You Look." <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I called it "Love Your Body with Hypnosis," and I made a video and I put it on there for her. See anyway, so oh, that was that was her. Oh, I got a long one here. This is from a Facebook user, Jackie. Seventh of September, two thousand and twelve. Hi, Jason. I've been a fan of your YouTube channel since early this year and I really enjoy your videos. I plan on joining your MP3 site. By the way, I had an MP3 site. 
I've experimented with lots of different things over the years, uh, including a cucumber once, but that's a different story. But I wanted to know if you offer a personalized service for hypnosis, like a 30 minute personalized MP3 session for a specific issue. Do you do anything like that? I would be interested in two different topics if you offer such a service. I love listening to things like that as I drift off to sleep. Um, and there's some other stuff there, but uh, there's a bit of back and forward with that. So, I well, one here says um, a Facebook user, "Hi Jason, please let me know if you do any new videos on increasing men's testosterone and sublim subliminally being more attractive to females." I feel such a video would be a hit with many. So yeah, I'd, I'd, that Facebook user is not on there anymore, but it's just the, the message. Tina, from the 13th of the 6th, 2013. Okay. That was just saying that she hoped my nan was doing okay. I just put thanks, she's doing well and slowly recovering. I think she'd uh, broken her hip at that time. So I got a message from Fran, 8th for the 7th. Hi Jason, I'd like to buy a CD of your sleep challenge hypnosis. Cheers Fran. And I just replied, I don't have CDs for sale, sorry. Um, another Facebook user who's deleted or well, she's not there anymore maybe she got fed up with me I don't know hello Jason like everyone else I can't tell you how much I appreciate what you do I listen to your videos every night I heard it in one of your chat videos that chronic pain hypnosis is your true passion. That's fantastic. I know all of your other videos are more popular, but I know you'll be able to work towards exactly what you'd like to do. I like that. It's true, but Sister Waster, I know. <laughs> you really like making chronic pain hypnosis videos. You like doing that, but I know that all your other videos are more popular than that. Um, just keep what you're doing. I have hemorrhoid problems that occur every now and then that are very painful and I will definitely be listening to your chronic pain videos once I get another flare up. Now I'm thinking of their anus. I've been wanting to donate some money to you for a long time but I'm a musician and I'm broke all the time. I'm moving out of my parents' house in a couple of days. I'm very excited, but naturally have some anxiety as well. I'm going to be downloading many of your podcasts, but I want to tell you that I hope to donate rig money on a regular basis. I get far too much value out of your sessions to not contribute to the cause. I know that your site is down now, any particular place to donate. So that must have been one of my times when I deleted my website due to not being able to afford it or whatever. Anyway, I've been spreading the word of your talents and I will continue to do so for as long as I'm alive. Wow. Friends have found your videos to be extremely helpful and are spreading the word as well. Take care and I sincerely hope that all is well. And I wrote, cheers. I perhaps should have put more of a... No, I didn't. I said thank you for your kind words and everything. Um, wow, that's a lovely message. It's very kind. Right, that was from, I don't know, whatever year. 
So I've got one here from the 24th of September 2013. I have an idea. Would you want to make a hypnosis? Or know someone who would? For femininity and weight loss at the same time. Something that every woman would get to know their inner cat. I have more ideas if you want to hear. And I thought, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I'd like to hear your ideas. Um, hmm, I wonder why I wrote that. Hi, my idea would be for girls or women who want to look feminine and feel feminine. Uh, okay, I won't read the rest of that. Yeah. I did reply, but about a month or two later. Uh, yeah, so I've got no idea. And again, they're gone as well. But her name was Henrika. So I got a message here. Someone from a place I used to work at asked me if I was okay. That's nice, isn't it? Someone called Mandy. Uh, this is from another Facebook user that doesn't have a name from the 15th of the 12th, 2013, 0210 in the morning. Yes, mm. thanks, Jason. Your videos have been helped have been helping me through a torrid time. Just like to say to you, the time and the effort you put into your videos is much appreciated. Thanks a lot, bud. Oh, thank you. It was, um, I'm gonna use that word torrid. I'm gonna use it over the next week. I like that word, torrid. Yeah, next time I eat out, the waitress comes up and says, how was your meal? Torrid, very torrid. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't like being disturbed when I'm in a restaurant. I don't go out very often, but when I am, and it might just be in a pub, it might, you know, so is everything okay? Is the food okay? Like, well, what do you know? Do you, do you know something I don't know? You know, is it what? Are you expecting me to collapse? What? What? You seem concerned. Sometimes I feel like saying, "Look, is there any vomit on the floor? No, no vomit on the table. No, well, this food's all right then, isn't it?" But then that would be rude. What I like to say, I look look at them straight in the eyes and say, "Adequate, very adequate." It's never, <laughs> so in, I'm just, I just want to point out something to those of you listening to, in, to me in America and other places where tipping is a very big thing. It's a very like um, part of society's norms. In England, it isn't. It really is a choice. We just like don't have to. Ch it's not expected. Not really. Um, I think it is in nice restaurants, but I've never been into a nice restaurant. So, well, I have. It's not not entirely true, but not very often, you know. So I haven't. Um, whenever I've been into a nice restaurant, I've not paid. You know, I've, it's someone else has paid because it's been expensive. But uh, I used to have a girlfriend once. Hard to believe. <sighs> Same old joke every time I say that. I used to have a girlfriend once. Hard to believe. I did, honest. And she was a solicitor. And she was lovely. And she 
lived in a room, but the thing is she lived in this big house, but she lived in a room, really nice room, and the bathroom was just phenomenal. So I mentioned it cost her quite a bit, but she was a solicitor, so she was earning good money. But instead of work, she she, she decided to work in um, the kind of law that helped people. So she wasn't trying to get um, criminals off or anything like that. She was, uh, I don't know what it was she was doing, whether it was helping people with asylum or helping people that, you know, uh, to be honest, I probably didn't listen. She probably did tell me, but I wasn't listening. Um, Especially if I was eating. I was probably just too concerned about, oh, this is nice. What if the waiter comes up and asks me how the food is? What shall I say? Oh, yeah, I do get a bit consumed by that sometimes. Hard to relax. You know, we know someone's like loitering, loitering around. Like, oh, when's it going to happen? They're going to walk over in a minute, but when? How, how can I relax when that's going to happen? So, yeah. Um, There was a point to me. Oh yeah, she used to go out to nice. She took me out to nice places. I had no money. I had very limited. I could buy her drinks and stuff like that. But she took me out to some nice restaurants. Took me out to the theatre. Uh, we used to get taxis home. You know, it's like proper life. You know, no walking. <laughs> You know, no energy, it having to be used any kind of energy. You don't have to sort of deal with any any humans. Just, you go straight to where you're going. You come straight home. It's brilliant. And uh, I really liked her, actually. But that's another story. But yeah, it's nothing, just, I'd quite like that kind of lifestyle I think but then that's I'd be going from a lifestyle of never going out hardly at all to going to places full of people that are all dressed nicely and I'm still wearing my pyjamas so yeah right we're nearly at the end I've gone over the 60 minute mark which I don't normally do, but I can't believe that I could use, I could waste 60 minutes telling you about how wonderful I am. Brilliant. Uh, so this one is from Ross. Hi, Jason. Hope you're feeling better today. My husband also says A up, as I had to laugh when you started your post with that yesterday. He was born in Yorkshire. Anyway, you seemed a bit down yesterday. Well. Oh. Perhaps it will be good for you to stick with the Buddhism as long as they lift you up and don't make you feel down. Okay, well that that wasn't anything to do with telling me how you know how I helped them or anything, but it was still a nice message. Eighteen for the twelfth. Another Facebook user that's not there anymore. I'd really appreciate a daily chat with Jason, especially with humour. As a pensioner of a young age, I need every bit of happiness I can get. Please continue to grow a fantastic hypnosis business. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. I do recognise your great talent. Bye for now. Wow. Oh, that was Janet, a lady called Janet. Jason, you are okay. I'm just one of your fairy godmothers worrying for your well-being. Move forward and expand your territory the American way. All right, she sent another one as well. Wow. So yeah, she sent some really nice messages there. I've got one in Arabic, so I don't really know what that says. I just hope that that's not going to get me into trouble in the future. By having it on my Facebook. 
uh, another one that's Liz Berman okay I'll, I'll keep all my Liz Berman ones on here Um, because she was one of my biggest fans ever I'm talking I've got loads of pictures of her on my Facebook that I've kept with this ongoing conversation that lasted for years wow so I'll keep that I've got Justin uh Uh, okay again it's I've got all these I'll, I'll stop now because it's, it's I've got a lot more than I realise oh wait Cassie Cassie that's a nice one she would have sent something nice I'll, I'll end on this this is 18 for the 1st 2017 Jason I have to say thank you for doing the cutting video Um, I and I was requested a couple of years ago I'd been cutting daily for eight years, one to 30 times a day. Wow. I tried everything, going to hospital, intense therapy, etc. Every time I had a craving, I started watching your video instead. I've now not cut in years with one slip in 2011. So thank you for literally saving me from my addiction and everything else you do for people. And this was in 2017, so it's just over a year ago. So she had just that's eight years from then, so it's... 2000, what was that? 2009. So she had one slip in 2011, but other than that, wow. It's amazing. See that? People say, oh, you, why don't you charge? You should make money out of this. Why don't you make money? Why don't you charge? People don't appreciate it if you don't charge. Well, I don't agree with that. I think people do appreciate it. Not everybody, of course not. Just like not every poo flushes the first time. And... And the very last... That's it. There's no others. Do, do, do. I might read some out another time. Mills. That's a good name, isn't it? Oh, I've got a joy. Jason. Wow, this is one. I need to go, but Mills. Hi, Jason. This is from 2013, December the 8th. Hi Jason, I was involved in a car accident almost 10 years ago and I've had chronic back pain ever since. My back pain was always screwed up my sleep, has always screwed up my sleep and I can't even remember what it was like to sleep for 8 hours straight. In June I was brutally attacked, I won't go into those details but it has been diagnosed with PTSD and since then my sleeping has been practically non-existent. I woke up every half hour when I do sleep and altogether at best I sleep about two to four hours. Last night I came across your videos on YouTube and decided to give it a try. This morning when I woke up I was very emotional that I had actually slept more than I had ever slept in ten years. Your work means so much to so many people. And I think it's incredible that you'll post free help out of the goodness of your heart. For that, I thank you. Wow. And she added some more there as well. Uh, but again, thank you for the bottom of my heart for giving me my sleep back. I'll be forever grateful. As she asked about re re um, pain medication withdrawal. And I did, I gave a link, so I've got a video called Reduced Pain Medication with Hypnosis that I did many, many years ago. Wow. That'd be great to hear how she's getting on. 
So that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Um, it's probably a little bit different from some of the other boring things I did, but it's uh, a bit more interesting for me. <laughs> it's like, I've got an idea. I'll spend an hour talking about how wonderful I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that more often. Yeah. Okay, lots of love. Speak to you next time. Thank you for listening to Let Me Bore You to Sleep.